Okay, this is a quick video on um, putting snow tire chains on. Uh, this is a Carlisle 15 by five, uh, standard on my Cub Cadet snow blower. It's a, a 524, I know the 526 uses the same tire. Lots of guys seem to have it. Um, these, these Carlisle 15 by fives, it's a pretty common question out there on the, on the internet, various sites. Do the Arnold, and that question is, does the Arnold, because it's hard to find chains for that, that you want a quality chain, you want you want a V chain. Um, and why is that, by the way, you know? So the V allows it to cut across these knobs, otherwise it would just sit inside here and you wouldn't get your bite, right? You want the, you want the chain out on the knob, so this V helps, helps the chain cut diagonally across and stay on top of the knobs. So you're looking for that. Finding that size tire in a, in a V that's, that's going to give you some bite on the ice is, is not so simple. Um, the Arnold 16 by 4.8 uh, is the closest I found, and I think the closest most guys have found from, from the, the questions I see out there. Will it fit? Will it fit? Well, will it fit? Uh, yes. Uh, you know. Uh, you know. You, you decide that. Obviously, as you can see here, um, I had to take some links out. So what's that look like? This is the this is the factory connector, and then the other side you'll see their their other just silly connector, but whatever. Um, we've already talked about the, we've already talked about the Y. It's it has some uh, single right, connection, the, the single chain rather than these double these V's because of the odd length that it ships for. It has a, a single connector, right? It also has a couple others that are singled up that that are. That, that don't give you this perfect double V all the way around. So I took that out, right? And I, and I did it here at the end. So it, when it was all said and done, I had five extra links sitting around. And that's where, obviously, this was a single, right? Um, stick it out, right? So now I'm perfectly, perfectly, almost perfectly spaced. Um, I'm perfectly V'd all the way around. I am narrowed. I moved this connection here is it instead of the three link spacing it is standard one two three i'm um, two link spacing here and here in one spot i moved this tighter and then and that was just so i only had to make one cut on this side uh and then it's, it's the standard mounting bang 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 three link spacing again so chop five links out i bent and moved one piece and um removed a couple pieces there right on the other side that has this idiotic quick connector, just get rid of that. Go to the hardware store, get yourself a couple of small S hooks. Uh, on the other side, you know, obviously again, same thing now, right? I'm I'm double V all the way around. If I was on one side, no, I don't have to be on the other, but I am double V all the way around because I just kind of spaced things and took my time with it. Um, I took six links out, right? So. One, two, three, four, five, and that's the six. I'd love for it to have been equal. I could have made it equal, by the way, but I, you're fighting, really fighting it a little bit. And, it, and I, and I, well, I doubt I'll ever take them back off again. What the hell, right? So I didn't bother to waste that effort. Uh, so I'm seconds away from grabbing the angle grinder, and uh, actually, I'll just use my Dremel on doing inside the house. You know, chop, chop, chop the other side. I've already got the S-clip back in there. This is, other than the clanking here, this is drawn up nice and tight. There's 22 PSI. And yes, I know the factory spec is 20. Let me see you get exactly 20 PSI in it. Um, it's nice and tight. You don't need, I don't need chain tensioners. I don't need anything. Just take, take the tire out, air it up, adjust it like I said, air it back up. It'll expand just enough to draw it tight. Um, bingo, bango bongo, right? So $50 set of chains. Fits great. I've got the V I want. Um, guys, if you can't, I mean, obviously you got to have two pair of pliers and a Dremel and, and I guess an air tank and a couple of Mickey Mouse things. But anybody that's out working on the snowblower and putting tire chains on, if you don't have this minimal kind of stuff, you know, you probably need to turn in your man card. There you go.